live, see if anybody comes in. <coughs> okay, I believe we're live, honey. Yeah, I'm just going to sit here and see if anybody comes in. <coughs> Hello. Hello. It says there's one person. This is what I'm trying to toy with. See, I can't get anything to really focus up close on this. Interesting. Very interesting. Come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. I'm toying using the webcam instead of um, the camera that's built into the laft laptop. Laptop. And I think the picture's clear. Hi, Jennifer. I think the picture of me is really clear, but when I put an object up to kind of focus on it, it doesn't want to focus in, see? So I don't know what the trick, if there's a trick to that or if this is not going to be the answer to the problem. I don't know. Brad will be in in a minute. He's sweeping the floor. I feel a lot better. I'm still coughing. <coughs> I still have that cough, and especially in the morning, um, and I'm coughing, you know, still coughing up crud. It's way, way better, but I'm starting to wonder if maybe some of it isn't allergies with the spring stuff all starting to bloom and, and kick in. So I am going to get some allergy medicine and try it before we leave. And I'm going to take a little pharmacy with us of that kind of stuff in case um, either one of us flare up. Because Brad's still got a little bit of a, of a cough too, not as bad as I do. But You can't do it in here, not out there. I'm already on, honey. Why would I do it out there? Oh, so that you could, I'm set up here, honey. Yeah, let's see. Right. So, so Brad's got, Brad wants to play show and tell because he's been hitting the estate sales again all week. So he's got all kinds of stuff he wants to show and tell. I'm not selling unless there's something somebody really wants that, you know, you can make us an offer on it or something. And then we would hold it till we get home because I'm not going to spend any time packing and shipping for the next two days. Elderberry gummies. I keep forgetting about those. I should make a note of those. So Brad's hauling in all his stuff so he can show you all the Not great all stuff. <laughs> oh, my God. I know. It's like I had my counter all cleaned off the other day, and Brad got home and just started piling stuff on it. Elderberry gummies. Elderberry gummies. What about? Jennifer says those work really good for her. Oh. <coughs> and I forgot she had mentioned Hello, Jennifer. Before. Whoever else is in there, hello. There's seven people, but Jennifer's the only one talking so far. My hair is not acting right. Where's this camera? Probably up there. I don't know. Oh, no, it was in the bunny. The bunny floating around. The little cast iron bunny thing. Remember him? Yeah, okay. nah. Okay. All right. Hi, Becky. Good. Yay. Hi, Geneva. Hello, Geneva. Hello, Becky. I'm just kind of making some room here. <sighs> so the picture looks really clear from what I can see, but it doesn't focus. And you see, when I bring this up and try to focus it in, I can't focus it in. No. Mm -mm. Even if I like do the little tricks that I do on the regular one, I can't get it to focus in. So there's got to be something in that, or that's not going to do the trick. Maybe that is not going to work. From here, it's good, but for the sales, I don't know. See if I oh the um, the actual picture looks great. The actual picture does, but look what happens. Like if I'm trying to show something from yeah. back here, you can see it. But if I wanted to show up close a maker or something, right, I can't bring that up. It just blurs, it just and I can't blurs. get it. Hi, Jackie. I wonder if there's an adjustment. I don't know. We all have well, to. Well, it's got an instruction book. Well, it's got to tell you. well, yeah, honey. So here, get it out and read it. Okay. God, Mr. Technical. You're the one who doesn't know, who doesn't toy with technology. No, but, I get, but that's what instructions are for. If, if they tell you. Troubleshoot. Not now saying they will. Focus. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, okay. See? So that's why I didn't want to mess with it yet. 
So we thought we'd just come on and chat for a little bit. We're going to go down to the bar, and we've got about an hour, 5.30, say about an hour and a half before um, we need to kind of freshen up to go do that. I want to freshen up my hair a little bit and um, before we go down there and maybe change my shirt. I don't know. I don't want to spend very long down there. I want to start getting my suitcase organized tomorrow and deciding what I'm going to take. I have my list of toiletries and all those necessities that I'm going to need to take, but my clothes thing is still going through my head. So two pair of boots and two sneakers. I'll take my blue hokas and my red hokas. You're taking your red hokas too. I've taken one pair of shoes. That's it? Shoes. So take the red ones. Okay. Take the red hokas. Okay, well, sure I just yeah, take the red hokas then. Okay. Uh, thanks. I, I, it's, it's not. It didn't act right. But when I got out of the shower, I laid down with the towel on my head and took a nap. So it kind of tried to dry weird. But um, anyway, thank you. Yeah. So I am better, but I've got to be careful talking because the more I talk, then the raspier I get again. Is this Um, I hadn't decided. This is that thing that they sent oh, me about that, that study. Guinea pig thing. Yeah, this is yeah, about I, that I would, study. Uh, I would pass. Well, fine, shred it then. I'll leave it right here. Fine, shred it. Why? Why don't you just turn on the shredder and shred it instead of piling stuff on there like you always because do? Because you're I... talking. You can do it later. Well, honey, it's only going to take a second. Gee, okay. it's done. Well, uh... Yeah, see, look. Okay. All shred. All done. All done. Okay. So do you want to slide over here too? Uh, yeah. No, I'm fine right here. But <laughs> oh, remind I, me. I, I'll come over this far. How's that? I pulled out that bottle that's got about this much in it. So I think I'll I'll pour the rest of this one in it too before we go. But I don't think I'm going to drink very much. Yeah. <laughs> i got too much stuff I want to do and get ready for. <clears throat> oh. So you, if you want to come over here, honey, you can start showing off some of these things that you got. I'll just hand stuff. Okay. So we're just doing like a haul. This is a haul. Just kind of showing you what we I picked up here. Recently. So that you know, when up. we get back and we and we start our sale up again, then you get an idea of some of the things that we'll be able to bring to you. And if, if you see some, something, yeah, go ahead. If there's something that you'd really like to have, email me and tell me. And we'll discuss a price, and I'll put your name on it until we get back. Because I'm not doing any packing and shipping and invoicing before we leave. I've got too much other stuff to do. Start packing tomorrow and Monday. I do need to go to the store at one point to get a couple of things. Tuesday, we're going in to do our nails and our feet. And I'm going to get all my peach fuzz waxed. And then Wednesday, or at least one day, Maybe not Wednesday, Monday or something. We need to go into Fernley. I want to go to the safe deposit box and lock up some stuff. Yeah. Um, so it's not in the You're house. In Fernley now, right? yes. Yeah. So I want to lock up a few things before we leave. And oh, there was something else I was just thinking of, and now I forgot what it was. I don't remember. But we're gonna we we leave Thursday morning. My friend is gonna pick us up at my mother's house at eight thirty in the morning. To have us to the airport by nine. Our plane leaves at ten fifty six. So basically eleven o'clock. Oh well, yeah, eight thirty would be plenty. Yeah. Oh good, Becky. I can't wait to see it. What's that? She got her lamp, her beautiful red oh, lamp. Good. good. Oh the, yeah. So I made myself. I put that on my list. She said, "Eat the elderberry and then bread, so what we swallow from coughing can give you." The, oh really? Okay. It's I I don't swallow this stuff. When it comes up, I just I get rid of it. What's that? Uh huh. Hi Renee. Hi Renee. I know. Woof. Even uh, Tammy sent me a text message last night. She says, "Did I miss your sale?" I said, "Tammy, you knew I wasn't going to do a sale. I didn't think. I thought I told everybody I wasn't going to do a sale this week." So here's something Brad picked up this week. It's a 2004 Thomas Kincaid Media Arts Group Inc group not group group inc in morgan hill california it's some kind of a lighthouse oh it says rock of salvation it must be a light 
I don't think you put anything in there. Yeah, but there's no, but he doesn't have a battery in it. Right. 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 A battery right. in it. Yes. Did I break it? No. Uh, no, it didn't break. That's good. The lid came off. I've been dropping shit like crazy, too. Lately, you have been, yes. Yeah, so it's this little light, a Thomas Kincaid light. So that's something we'll be bringing to a sale when we get home. Jennifer says she needs to cut her hair because it's down to her elbow. Really? Wow. That's long. Yeah, Brad would like mine longer, and I, I'm used to having mine short. This is even long for me. Well, here's a here's something Geneva would like. This because looks like that. Color. This is that Polish glass, I <laughs> yeah, think. Yeah, that's Polish glass. Yeah, this looks like that Polish glass. It's not March. Usually there's like an LSI or an IS something or like a, if it had the sticker. So that looks like Polish glass to me. That will be coming to a sale near you. Becky says the Lada Colada is delicious. Yeah. Good. I haven't tried one yet. We're going to go down to the bar later, but I'm going to drink very, very lightly. So I'm just going to take my whiskey and have some Diet Coke because I don't want to. I have not had a drink for like almost a month, I think, since I got sick. I have not. I have not uh, had a drink and so, and I'm not going to smoke anything either because I don't want to put anything in my lungs. So just before we leave, I will indulge in a gummy. I will do that, but I'm not going to smoke anything. I don't want anything in my lungs. And then he got this mask, a wood mask. That's an interesting vase. Yeah. He's been to, I'm not kidding. He's been to estate sales like every day. They grow and well, both the state and grow. Not every day. A state and grow, yeah, pretty much. Not every day, but pretty much. Look at this anyway. one. This one will be neat cut for fall when fall starts coming in. With look at the green like, with the I brown. Like it's it's like a case uh -huh. glass. Yeah, it is case glass. See, it's white on the inside. That's kind of neat. My man shopping. Oh, yeah. He likes to shop. Take that before I drop it. It's the thrill of the hunt. Here's a nice green uh, Scentsy, too. This will be nice. That's a uh, an owl. An owl one. Is it an owl? I, I think so. I think that's no, it's one. not. Isn't that what it's supposed no, to be? No, it's, just, it's just green. Honey, it's just a green. It has well, these holes would be the eyes. Well, honey, then it's got one, two, it's, but it's got more, three, yeah. four, five but them, eyes. But it's to me, it, it kind of reminds it's me not of an, an owl. It's not. It, it's not an owl, honey. It's just a. It's just a green. It's just sensor. the way it's made. Yeah, okay. and it's just the way it is. It's just. Well, I think it's an owl. How's that? <laughs> it's not an owl. God, you guys tell him it's not an owl. It's an owl. It's not an owl. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Jennifer says if she could, she'd show us her her cousin it look. Yeah. <clears throat> There's this guy. Did that, you get her signed yet? I don't know. Did you get your box yet, Jennifer? Probably not, because I don't think we mailed hers until like two days ago. This looks like this is acro agate, I think. This one's not the Avon. This is acro agate. I bet you. I guess. I think so. I think that's acro agate. Which I don't usually see. It's a like a green slag. That'll be a neat one. See, if I bring it up, I've got the webcam on instead of the one into the computer, and it doesn't want to focus when I bring stuff up close. So I'm having a hard time displaying detail. That looks pretty good right no, there. That's pretty good. But see, it does have a marking under here that I can't bring up. It doesn't want to focus in on the fine stuff. So it does say something under here, but I can't tell what it is. I cannot tell what it is. I don't know. I don't know. This is nice though. I like this one. A pretty green slag. Huh. Oh, I shouldn't have eaten. <laughs> Now my stomach's being weird. Yeah. This is pretty. Yes, it is. This is really pretty. These would be really nice colors to bring in for the fall. This says it's Blanco. Oh, that says it's Blanco? Uh -huh. There's a tag on it that says it's Blanco underneath. That's a good, 
That's what they were asking for it. Yeah, I haven't actually. Uh, mm -hmm. image there, there's yet. a there's a term for this, and I can't think of what it is. Like, um, I want to say illusion, but it's not illusion. There's something else for this term of the, of the way that this. Um, the way the pattern. Yeah, is. the way the pattern is on it, and how it looks when you move it. And I can't think of what it is. Oh, oh, too bad we didn't have these before Easter. Well, it is before Easter, but look at this little. This is kind of neat. See, I haven't even seen this stuff yet. Optic. Thank you, Geneva. That's it. Optic. So here's some stone eggs. There's like one, two, three, four in a green, a blue, and a kind of an amber color or brown color. These stone eggs in a little crate. Those are nice. Yeah, see, he's just pulling this stuff out of here, and I haven't even seen it. This looks like one of those little oil burners. Maybe. You'd put, like, the wick thing in there and the oil and burn it. And it's a pretty kind of an iridescent looking, like, a, um, almost like an urchin. Oh, God, I didn't know that. This is Murano. Oh my God! He's got some Murano with controlled. See the tag right there. Never controlled bubbles, Volcante. Yeah. This is Murano. It's pretty cool. I wasn't sure if it had like a, a lid on top, but I don't think it does because I don't see any like. Uh, roughing, it could you know, still like, though. You know, without imaging, you know, I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, that's kind of nice. But that is Murano. I, th I think I'd look for a stopper that might fit in that. Do it like a perfume bottle. Yeah, there is a tag on it that says Murano. Murano glass works right here, but see, it won't focus. I can't get it to focus on this little webcam. So I don't know if there's something we need to do with that. I'm going to use Scoot over here for a minute. Hold the back and see. Yeah, you, you can kind of see. Yeah, it but you can't there. make it out. Yeah. Here. Now, what are you going to do? I need to go to the restroom. Oh, okay. That dinner is kicking in. So how do you go, turn the webcam on? Go off? talk to the girls. Just look. I can do the just go over there and talk and, and okay just right. do it just talk to him all right hello everyone she wants me to come over and talk hi Jeannie how are you hi, Vanessa are you here too I, I see someone said hi Vanessa if you are uh, hello anyway yeah I've been uh, out shopping it's it's always fun I got a good big collection of uh, cards today. I got some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I got Pokemon cards. I got hockey cards. I got basketball. There's some baseball in there. Uh, yeah, there's even like signatures and a lot of the baseball cards or whatever football, they'll, you, they'll take a piece of the jersey and make a card and put it on there. It's some good stuff. Um, found quite a few Pokemon cards lately. Those are really good, too. Um, last Sunday, I went to a garage sale, and I found uh, some of the old ones, like what I used to first collect uh, way back in the day my kids collected. Um, I remember going to uh, garage sales back about 2000, maybe 2002. I used to uh, take my kids to the uh, mall. They used to have, like, little Pokemon game tournaments there at the mall uh, over in uh, Redmond, Bellevue, Washington area. And uh, so anyway, after they stopped, I, I could I would go to garage sales. And back then you could buy a box like a shoe box for five or ten bucks. And uh, unfortunately, um, I had the shadow. I, I still have some. I had the shadow list, which is the very, very pricey ones. Um, I kept the hollow foils that were in a bunch that I bought. But then there was other rare cards that weren't hollow foils and the regular cards and, and whatnot. And even those are worth a lot of money now today. Um, here about, oh, two years ago, uh, one card that I have would be about 15 grand now. And, and that was two years ago. And now it's probably three, four, five thousand, something like that, just one card. But the shadowless are very, very expensive. So, um, those are always good to pick up if you know what you're doing. Um, but like I said, I got some Yu-Gi-Oh cards today, which I don't know a lot about. Um, I know there's a couple of dragons in that set that are 
the better cards, uh, but I don't know too much about the Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, like some of the hockey. Oh yeah, there was some NASCAR in there too. So I got to do my research. I mean, I got. I mean, it's it's a pretty big amount, so I got to really take the time to go through it and know what I got. Um, but the older ones, the ones I got last Sunday, um, that's probably about five hundred dollars worth for ten bucks. I mean, you can't go wrong. Um, but I get there early. Early bird gets the worm. There's a lot of truth in that. So if you'd like to go out garage sailing, estate sailing, my recommendation, I learned a long time ago, you want to be early. Uh, it doesn't always pan out, but most of the time it does. The ones with the signature are worth some money. Yeah. <clears throat> I've, I've got, uh, trying to think of the name. There's one name that I got that's a, a really prevalent, like Hall of Famer that is a signature card. So I know that's worth some money. Um, but but some of the rookie, uh, the uh, signature cards are just common players that really aren't that great. But there's still a little bit of value there. I don't know how much. I'll have to do the research. Um, and then the ones with the jerseys. I mean, they, they'll take like a square of, of one of their jersey. Um, oh, I have a... Uh, Cincinnati Bengal quarterback. What was his name? Not the new one. The new one's name is Burrow. Um, I, I can't think of his name right off the top of my But he was quarterback like maybe eight, ten years ago and was probably a quarterback for, I don't know, ten years or twelve or whatever. <clears throat> I had one of those. I did have a uh, – I'll have to do the research. There's a Tom Brady. Um, if you ever find a Tom Brady card, generally there were some money of some kind. Uh, especially the rookie cards, of course, and signature cards. But I've got like a fourth or fifth year uh, one of those in there that I noticed. I mean, I just have to take the time to go through them. I, I just kind of browsed through it, straightened it all up. Um, but that was fun, going to the garage sale and buying all that. Um, I went to an estate sale. Uh, uh, it was advertised Wednesday. Um over in Reno. It was advertised for noon on Wednesday. So I got there like maybe 1030 on Wednesday. And I, I asked her, are you open? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's a couple other people in there. And this gal that was in there was telling me she just killed it. Um, I got quite a bit. And and I can imagine what she got. Um, I, I, yeah, I filled up my car. <laughs> it's just so much stuff. Um, but when I walked in the door, there was a jewelry box there that supposedly... Uh, was put out that morning. I think I might have gotten to some of that first, if not first. Um, so I pulled some stuff out of there, and then I looked up, and I just couldn't believe the stuff in this house. I mean, it was unbelievable. It's it's like walking into a pack rat. <laughs> um, so I can imagine uh, the stuff that the other people had pulled out the day before when the sale wasn't actually supposed to start till Wednesday. But, hey, you know, if you get to a sale like that and, and you get first first chance, man, it's just, yeah, go for it. It's like, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's a lot of fun. You never know what you're going to find. Hi, Linda, how are you? Uh, Margo's in the kitchen, so she'll be back in a minute. She just told me to sit here and chat for a while, so that's what I'm doing. A um, lot of fun, though. A lot of fun doing this stuff. It's amazing the stuff you can find. Um, so what are you doing, hon? I did buy uh, a little bit of gold today, which isn't unusual, but I can show you that real quick. Be right back. I just took a, uh, a bag full over to safety deposit box earlier this week. Um, I got this... Uh, it's like uh, a rose gold and a white gold bracelet uh, today. It's 10 carat. So I got that. I told the lady, she had a, uh, one of her relatives told her basically what the spot price is, but it was a little bit lower than what the spot price is today. And I said, I pay 80% of spot. So if you want to sell, you can sell. If you don't, you don't. But anyway, it's got kind of, with Margaret, with that thing she's got, it's kind of hard to see it. 
but it's got like a rose gold and a white gold, just a little bracelet. Uh, I bought this bracelet here, which I'm assuming I haven't tested them, but I'm assuming these are little diamonds in, in this one. This one's 10 karat too. What they call millies. Um, yeah, it's, it just doesn't focus good. I mean, you can kind of get a general idea. So I got that too. And then I got this little sombrero, 14 karat gold sombrero hat, like a trinket hat. Like a little sombrero. <laughs> kind of cool. It's 14 karat though. It's kind of hard to make it out. Like I said, yeah, the focus on this webcam is is, is terrible. But uh, so I bought that too. So anyway, gold's uh it's 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 made some moves here recently, the last so three, four weeks or so. Um it's gone from about oh two grand, a little under to uh it's it's about 2160 roughly right now um oh hi deb how are you i'm always what amazed of what i find oh yeah <laughs> some of the stuff i find is it's 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 unreal it's but it's but it's taking i carry in it's taking the time you know to, to get out and do it so when you're working you can't do it as much but you know when you're when you're retired Anytime, you know, no problem. Okay, you're back. Oh, sorry, that dinner just went right through me. It did. Yeah. <laughs> Don't know why. Sorry about that, you guys. So has he been entertaining you? Hi, Deb. Yeah, Deb found gold too. Hi, Carrie Ann. Hi, Linda. Sorry, I had to excuse myself for a minute. <clears throat> you know what happens. Oh, I do. <laughs> Part sucks getting, getting old. old. Sucks getting old. Most have face recognition now and automatically try focusing on that. What is for the camera? I wonder. You mean right in front of it instead of at the? Yeah. Let's see what happens if you hold it right there. No. Well, you can kind of hold it back and get an mm -hmm. idea of it. But um, if I'm trying to show marks and numbers and names, yeah, yeah. you know, that's going to complicate. So we'll have to figure that out. Did you show this? I this is pretty that. too. Yeah. This looks like another one of those, like a piece of that Polish glass. Which it could be. I don't know. I don't know. That's pretty too. Okay. So we've shown all of this. You've played show and tell. Yeah, I'm You've that. played. I showed this. I remember we showed that. It looks that. like an iridescent M M M M and M and M and and M and M and M and it looks like there might be a mark on it too, yeah, right at the right. bottom where the pond hole was. So I can't tell for sure. And if I bring it up and try to focus it, it doesn't work. There we go. So I'll have to figure that out. Put your hand behind it. Then if it refocuses on the item, you're not. Oh, yeah, I tried that too, Dab. Look. And it doesn't. I tried that. It just is not refocusing. It's weird. Hi, Jeannie. Yeah, I'm going to have to toy with this camera some more. This is the first that I've turned it on and, and hooked it up to this. It's not auto focusing at all. Okay, yeah, I wonder if there's something else on this I have to do. What is this, lady? I have to <laughs> read the directions. Hang on. I'll have to read and see. Because if it doesn't have an autofocus thing on it, then this is not going to be the answer. We'll have to return that one or something. The other picture looks good, though. See that picture? The picture of us looks good. Show what that. what is this? It looks know. like a little grinder. Show it to them. Let's see if they know. It's a it, grinder. It reminds me of a meat grinder, but but a miniature one. It looks like a little grinder of some sort. Yeah, show and tell tonight, just for about an hour, and then we're going down to the bar. We haven't been down there for almost a month. If you last see time. something you like, all you have to do is send Margo an email and say, "Yeah, I'm interested," and then and then we'll discuss we the back, price we'll discuss and we'll. It. Yeah, and then we'll we'll hold it, and we won't invoice or anything on it. We'll just put your name on it till we get back. 
if anybody sees something they want. I don't want to do it on here. So does anybody Just know what that is? <laughs> absolutely send me an email if you see anything that you're interested in. Hi, Simmy. How are you? Does anybody know what that is? Speak up. Looks like Hi, a little Sammy. grinder of some kind. Some kind. I don't know. I just thought it was interesting. I don't know. I'm never, gonna grind you never in saw it, one though. before, so it's like you, I'll grind you in it. When you when you see something you've never saw before, here's a little poisonate thing that so, looks like somebody. Oh, it says China on the bottom on this little poisoné um, dish, lidded dish. That needs a better bath, I think, than what it got. You should have seen some of this stuff that he brought home the other day. It was maybe a cheese grater. That it could be. It maybe, could be like maybe. a Parmesan cheese. Yeah, could be. Absolutely could be. Anyway, he brought this stuff he brought home from this estate sale the other day. It was this house. <laughs> I did not go with him, of course. Yeah, you wouldn't believe the dust. It had, I mean, it was like, you know, dust bunnies growing on everything. <laughs> Huge dust bunnies. I mean, I literally, he started taking stuff out and putting it on my counter and I started washing stuff. I think I was at the sink for like two hours <laughs> washing some of this stuff. It was so grody. It was not, it was, it was too grody to say, hey, I'm not going to clean this. You're going to have to clean this up. Hi, Vanessa. She said, yeah, Vanessa says a cheese grater or a shredder, uh, but for stringing. For stringing. Yeah, makes sense now that you see, you know, like when they come over at Olive Garden and, and greet the cheese yeah, for you. Yeah, yeah, something better. similar mm -hmm. to that. Yeah. Anyway, that was so, it was, this stuff was really dirty, really dirty, embarrassingly Did dirty. Did you even show that? Yes, I just oh. showed it. I've been holding it right here. Okay. What do you think I've been doing with oh, it? Oh, no, you were, you were talking about other things. Okay. Yeah. I said that one could use a better bath, and that's how I got on the subject. Oh, okay. Okay. Where'd you get this little? This is a fourteen karat sombrero. Yeah. Ooh, now this is nice. Yes, is. How much does it weigh? Uh, four something. Oh, mm, interesting. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's this? It's a mirror. Oh, it's a mirror. Oh, this is a. It's an adjustable kind of a mirror, I mm -hmm. guess. What? That's an interesting little mirror. Look at that one. It could use a better bath. I don't want, I didn't wash this. You can tell too. This is dusty. <laughs> Honey, look, look, look. This is what I'm talking about. Look at the dust bunnies on this show. Oh, I can't get up that close. You can see the dust bunnies up there. See? I mean, this shit was just covered with this <laughs> stuff. Covered. Sammy wants to see the metal jar. The metal jar. What Let me see the metal jar, please, she the said. You mean the metal, uh, this, this metal? Oh, 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 you mean the Cloisonne? Oh, the Cloisonne one? Probably this, yeah. The little Cloisonne dish, Simmy? It's still dirty. See, I'm not getting good focus to be able to bring up detail really good. It focuses good back here as long as it's, like, focusing on me on this camera, but... This camera's not focusing very good. He does find cool stuff. <coughs> he rarely disappoints me with the stuff he brings home. Yeah, you know, see how somebody's like, at first I thought they'd written something, but it, it says China on the bottom is what that makes out to. Yeah, it's dirty. It's definitely dirty. It needs a better scrubbing. What else you got? Uh, what else this do you is want cool. me to show? Show this. Well, this is a very neat Art deco -y teapot. Look at this. The handle. Mm -hmm. The handle really makes that piece. And it, it is marked. I don't remember what it's marked. It is marked. One moment, please. Foreign. F-O-R-E-I-G-N. Foreign 41. See, I wish I could bring it up so you could see. It just isn't focusing. I'm going to have to figure out that or we're going to have to get a different one. We're not doing it. We're not asking anything for him tonight, Sammy. We're just doing a show and tell. Unless you see something you really want, then email me and we'll hold it till we get back because we're leaving Thursday on our trip and I've got too much to do before then. So I'm not going to tie down with shipping and stuff but brad is so anxious from all his finds this week he wanted to do a haul <laughs> i, I fear well we got we got the time let's do a haul 
We haven't done, we don't have done mm -hmm. this for a while. And then it's got two teacups and saucers that go with that. But one of the teacups has a little chip, maybe two chips, right here on the edge. They're almost more like that demi-tasse size. And here's the saucer. Even the, the cups have that same design. Uh huh. The yeah, handle on the, cup, on the cup. Yeah. Yeah, those are cute. It's a peekaboo peep show. That's right, <laughs> Vanessa. <coughs> well, I just wanted to come on and visit before we leave on Thursday morning. This is cool. Um, oh, I was going to grab the thing so we can talk about the places that we're going to be going. I was going to grab the book. This is a pretty one, too. Look at this one. And it's got the silver plated bottom. Is that no, weighted it, silver? No, it's, it's sterling weighted. Sterling weighted. What That's it means what I is, meant. Is this outer, yes. The outer is, is sterling, is, but it's weighted and then on it's the got inside. It's got like a plaster usually inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I understand, honey. We've okay. had those with candle holders before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The sterling weighted. So this is very pretty. I don't know who made it, though. It says sterling weighted, but it says some other shit on there, too. Um, no, it doesn't. It's got like a crown. Oh, and an L, a four, two, six. And there's another little symbol that I have no idea what it is. So we'll have to figure this little camera out so we can focus on that stuff. See, it, it won't focus in. No matter what I do, it doesn't want to focus in. I know it's going to be very fun. It's going to be very fun. I'm looking forward to it. I've been watching French TV. <laughs> yes, I, I believe me, I know. <clears throat> Last night, Brad got up and slept in the guest room because because I I was making too much noise in the bedroom for him, having too much of my programs on. But he goes to bed at like seven thirty, eight o'clock. You know, I'm not ready to go to bed yet, but I want to go to bed and lay down and relax and turn on programs and stuff. I'm not ready to go to sleep at seven thirty and eight o'clock. Yeah, we oui, we oui. we oui, we oui, madame. Oh, so you know what name I've been calling little black kitty. Brad says he's not real fond of it, but I like it. And I was talking to my daughter yeah. today too, and she this likes it too. Same. Yes, I know. Mm -hmm. So I've been calling her Mademoiselle. I kind of like that. Little black kitty. Little black Mademoiselle. I might name her Mademoiselle. I haven't decided yet, but I like it. And she seems to respond to it. I think it fits her because she's such a snooty little cat. Oh, she's got attitude. The she's water definitely. Will put, her in her, put her in her place. Oh, you should see them at night sometimes fighting over the places. Like she's up on my pillow. So Squatter wants my pillow. So he, he growls and snarls and she finally runs off and he gets up on the pillow. Or he wants to be over on Brad's legs and she's on Brad's legs. And so he snarls and stuff until he intimidates her into moving. And then he moves over into that spot. <laughs> <laughs> He's kind of territorial and jealous. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so here's a hand mirror that matches that other funny little mirror. Oh, look, there's my Yoda. There's my Yoda bong. Mm -hmm. So this is pretty. So he scored this, too. It's too bad they didn't have the brush and more pieces. But this is very dirty, too. This needs a better scrubbing, too. But it's got that nice kind of, I don't know. It's got like an art deco -y, almost an Asian look to it. I don't know what to call it. Very nice. Voulez-vous coucher? No, it's voulez-vous av. Now you screwed me up. Voulez-vous coucher avec moi? Avec moi. Avec. Avec with. Avec is is with. I know that. Voulez-vous coucher avec moi? Ce soir. Yeah. Okay. What else? Right Oh, here's a dog. He's just marked bloodhound. He's very cool. He just says bloodhound underneath. Right there, it says bloodhound. Wouldn't it be amazing if suddenly this thing decided to focus? He's cute too, huh? I know, I can tell you're spelling phonetically. Hi, Lulu. She's a, Lulu used to sing that at karaoke. Voulez-vous coucher avec moi ce soir? Hey, spaniel? sister, so, sister, so, sister, go, head. sister. Yeah. And one piece of Franciscan, a Franciscan apple teapot. 
food they control. Have, they had a bunch of that there, but the only thing I grabbed, I mean, they had the platter, they had plates. And, we've we've had a couple pieces but I, of but the apple, piece, but they never is, sell. Yeah, the, the, that's why I only grabbed the teapot. I think the yeah. people like the Desert Rose better. The Rose than the better, apple, yeah. 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 But you don't see the Desert Road as, Rose as much. You already showed this. Is this weighted sterling too? No, it's actually a silver plate. Okay. But you already showed lighter. it. I know you showed it. Okay. And then this thing, I don't know. This is a, a single string instrument of some sort. It looks like maybe the string was like the thread was supposed to come out more this way. I don't know. It's got an animal on it. I have no idea. Mm -hmm. There's no mark on this. I don't even think this isn't even wood, is this? What is that? Some kind of wood. It is. Maybe yeah, it is wood. wood. Interesting. No way he just threw it on the pile. Now, this is kind of cool. This is lucite. Uh oh. Here's my blue balls. This is. <laughs> you're going to have blue balls if you're not careful. You might already. It's been a month, I think. We've both been sick. There's been like no intimacy in this house for at least a month. It's a spoon rest. It's one of these. It's got like this wood, these wood, like, um, utensils and then it's encased in like um lucite it looks like to me see it lucite okay brad's blue balls he got some more of these some of the chinese benoit balls didn't they call these benoit balls i guess yeah no i think these are, these are the and they make noise these are the benoit balls what are you supposed to and they were supposed to I excite you or something. <laughs> I don't know. I never did that stuff. No, I don't. I know wasn't that, that adventurous. But these have dragons on them, and had the bells on. See, if I move it away, you can see it. For meditation, we're gonna go down to the karaoke for a little while tonight. But I don't know how much I'm gonna sing. <coughs> <coughs> Jeremy's not doing the karaoke anymore. Glenn and Marianne are back. They're the ones who were doing the karaoke when I first started, when I first moved out here like five years ago. And I haven't seen them for a while, so it will be fun to see them. Here's a little, here's a little, um, just a little trinket box. A little footed trinket box. It's got the mark on the bottom with the little arrows and some numbers. But of course, this new webcam does not want to focus, so I can't. No, you can kind of see it. I don't know why it doesn't want to focus. It should have an autofocus on it. I don't know why it doesn't. Maybe I have to go into settings or something and adjust some of the settings. I'll have to toy with it. So then he brought these home. Now these are cool. Oh, I didn't get this one cleaned very good. Yeah, these were so greasy, even the dawn would not cut the In grease. In this house, the stove was like 1950s or early 60s. It was one of those kind of stoves where you, you pull out and up, and that's where the oven was, was up above. And, and then you had the, air, the regular burner stoves down below, but, mm -hmm. but they had the thing you pull up like this. That's what? Come here. Move your head this way. What is that? I don't know. What is it? I don't know. Maybe it's just what your head. Maybe it's just your head. <laughs> anyway, so it had this one. See, I, and I, I ended up taking um, an SOS pad. There was so much grease on these. I took an SOS pad to them, trying to get the grease off. This one still got some grease here that I miss. That I missed. So it's got that one, the little lemon juicer, and then it's got the one cup, the half cup. This should be the third cup and the quarter cup. The quarter cup's got a little chip out of it down here. But these are cool. These are definitely vintage. These are definitely very vintage. But I'm going to have to rewash some of this because I didn't get them co completely clean. Baby, you're going to knock stuff over. Mm -hmm. Move him. <coughs> you're piling too much shit up there. So the cups. 
This is all shit he's gotten just this week, you guys. Just this week he's brought this shit home. Here, take the juicer, the lemon juicer. The lemon juicer. <coughs> <coughs> and these people liked Westies too. This guy is, this is the Belik one, isn't it? No, that's not the Belik. Oh, it's not Belik. This one says something else I can't make out. This one says, oh no, this one says, I can't tell. B E S W I C Beswick. Something like that. Oh yeah, there it is. B E S W I C K England. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it's also not just on the sticker, it's also on the bottom of his paws. Hi, Mary Beth. Hi, Mary Beth. Geneva says if you get the Dawn Platinum and let it soak for just a bit, that stuff works better than just the plain Dawn. Okay. I'll pick some of that up too. Anyway, this is a this is like a Westie. And there's another one too. So they must have liked their Westies. There were some Westie dogs. This one's this Best Bestwick England. And then this. I don't think I watched this either. What is this? I don't know what this is either, but somebody put a nasty thing on it there. This says. I gotta turn it this way. I think this is old. I think this is old. Dawn Platinum works great. Carrie Ann agrees. This says something for sure. I can't tell. D Dowsey something and then Couture. C O T U R E. And it has like a um a crown on top of it two so i don't know if i can bring this so where you can see it and it's a pretty vase there's squatter nice squatter it's a pretty vase i bet that's hand painted i don't know interesting but it's nice it's got i like the handles on it very spitty it's very spitty Okay, I'll put that on the list too, along with here, stick that away. Let me write down the Don Platinum. Mandel Brothers, Chicago. Here's the Chicago. Okay, piece. honey, hang on a minute. I'm trying to do something. You just put too much shit in front of me. Where's my pen? Right here, I'm making notes. Notes for Elderberry Gummies and oh. Don Platinum. What's water? So I don't forget to buy them. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you. And here's another one that was similar to that other one. But that was from Chicago. Oh, this says. one is Mandel Brothers. Mm -hmm. But this looks like this came from an auction. I don't know that that's what this piece is. I'll bet Mandel Brothers is an auction house because it shows like a lot, a number, the cost, and the price. So this came out of an auction house, I'll bet you, honey. I bet that's what that is. Look. I'll bet that came out of an auction. This one isn't Maybe. marked. Maybe. Yeah, you might be right there. Mm -hmm. I know I am. In Chicago. I know Mandel I am. Hi, Kat. How long have you been on my Friday night? Was not the same without you. I missed you. Oh, I know. And I thought about everybody last night, too. But it was kind of nice to have just an easy Friday and not having to <coughs> pack and ship <laughs> worry about all of that. We've just been on for a little bit. We're going to stay on for about um, another hour, not quite another hour. And then we're, we're just playing show and tell because Brad's been out shopping all week. And then we're going to go down to the bar for a little bit. I have not been down to the bar for like a month since I've got sick. I haven't been down there. Yeah. I thought this is a pretty little vase too, Geneva. I like the colors on it too. Very art deco -y with the blue and the black and the gold. And it's small. It's probably only about four inches. I'll yeah, bet. it's not that big. Yeah, it's a small one. Like then, for a small curio. Check these out. Cobalt, salt and peppers. Cobalt, salt and pepper shakers. Look at the tops on these. You can tell these have had some, had some use too. So has everybody had a good week, though? So what we'll do is we leave Thursday, and I'll try to start filming our adventure probably 
once we get to the airport um, and and let you not guys know before we board, then let you know maybe when we get to Dallas, waiting for our plane to Paris. And uh, once we get to Paris, then I'll let you know that we're there and try to film maybe getting on the ship and into our cabin, you know, that kind of thing, show you the ship. It should be very similar to the ship, the to the Adagio, but this one is the Bizet. And, but it's the same company and the setup is, is very similar to the Adagio that we've already been on. So anyway, these are cool, huh? So I'll try to film as much as possible to let you guys know what we're doing, what we're up to, maybe go live. Like we did that one night on the Adagio when we were up on top um, and we went live for a little bit. That was, we'll try to do that too. But the time difference is going to be from here anyway, it's like eight hours. So from the East Coast, it'll only be five hours from from like the East Coast to Paris. From, you mean uh, time-wise? Yeah. It'll only be, have about a five-hour uh, no, it, difference. It's eight no, hours no, from it's here. it's more than that. It's, it's no, it about isn't. nine, eight or nine? It's eight from here. I've already looked. Okay. It's eight hours from here. So, and, and the East Coast is three hours ahead of us. So from the Flying East Coast... Time. Flying time, it's about eight or nine hours. Yeah, but that's not what I'm talking about, honey. What? I'm talking about the time difference. There are only oh, five, we'll only difference. be like five hours ahead of the East Coast while we're in Paris. That could be. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah yes. Could be. It is. I know it's four hours to New Brunswick, Canada, which well, is as far on the, the northern continent you can get. But anyway. Anyway. So we will film as much as possible so that you guys can see. Oh, we've been rolling to. in the dust, mister. <coughs> He's probably been out there chasing her. We got another one of these, too, but this one isn't the opalescent. This one is not the opalescent one. This one's just the, the hobnail milk glass. So we'll have all of this stuff will be available when we get back. But again, if you see something that you're really in love with, email me. And we'll discuss a price and we can put your name on it um, for when we get back. Then we got one of these. This one's for your coffee. It has the cobalt on the inside, but it's not, it's, it's, it's plastic though. It's not glass cobalt on the inside. See? And it has the metal and the spoon for your coffee. So it's kind of cool. This is kind of cool. That would look really good displayed with your cobalt salt and pepper shakers, wouldn't it? Mm hmm What does it say on the front? Is it Vanessa's looking for an opalescent one like that? Hold no. We had one of those a couple of weeks ago. We sold it. Hi, Annie. <coughs> no, we're not selling Hi, tonight. We're visiting and chatting. We're visiting. We're, we're, we're teasing, basically. <coughs> we're visiting and be chatting. Available when we get back. Because we or probably... if you email us, like Margo said earlier, if you see something you like, let us know. You send and us an email, but when we get back, then we can discuss Then we it. can, yeah, we'll figure it out when we get back. Because um, this will be the last time you'll probably hear from us before we leave. We leave Thursday morning. We, we all be in... At my mother's house at 8.30 Thursday morning, my friend Cheryl is going to pick us up there and she's going to drive us to the airport. So we're at the airport by 9 so we can get everything all checked in and get to our gate and our flight leaves at 10.56. I don't remember what time it gets into Dallas, but we don't have a huge layover between Dallas and Paris once we get there. Plus, we gain like two hours. Um, from here to Dallas, too. So it'll be two hours later when we get there. Oh, I know. That looked like an olive was great. I like that one, too, Renee. I'm going to sneeze. Oh. That's you. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and and Renee likes the Blanco piece, too. Yeah, that's a cool piece. Mm -hmm. He's a fairy. Brad picked up a fairy. A couple of them. I've got two of them. Brad likes fairies. Yes, I do. Here, I'm not going to even touch them. I'm tired of touching all this stuff. Well, then you want to hand it to me. This one suspiciously looks like... It, um, it looks like a Roberts. Uh, kind of looks like but... a Mark Roberts, but there's no there's no tags on it, so I don't have a clue. Fairies. This one's, por this one's porcelain. I know, Renee, and that's why I've been thinking some of this stuff. Thank you. Thank you, too, Jennifer. Um, 
I've been thinking some of this stuff that I may have may not just be this cold virus kind of thing, especially since I feel so much better now. And I've been off the antibiotic now over a week. I think I may have some allergies going here. So I'm going to, before we leave, we're going to the store and we're going to pick up like some Claritin and some Benadryl and stuff like that. Oh, look at this doggy. You could take him wow. out. But here's a nice stained glass frame. Somebody framed their old English sheepdog. But he can be removed and you can put in whatever you want. The back does come off. But they've taped the back on, interestingly. Interestingly. But we will have that. <coughs> Just a second, honey. You're going to blow my nose. I'm gonna do, uh, take care of the you got a what? Take care of the real quick. Okay. <coughs> okay, then he got this Westinghouse thermometer set. Look at the graphic on this. We will be gone. We will be back April 12th. So we leave the 28th and we come home the 12th. So it's just a little over two weeks. We won't be gone real, real long. Now, this has this thermometer set, roasts, candies, jellies, icings, french fries, donuts, it says on there. So, it's got two thermometers in here. One must be a meat thermometer and one must be a, yes, it is. Oh, no, they can be used for either or, it looks like. This one's marked poultry, lamb, pork, veal, but this one is too. Poultry, fresh pork, cured pork, beef, well. So I don't know how you would use it for candy, but it shows, oh, maybe the candy thermometer is, the candy thermometer is missing. These are both meat thermometers. See, this is what it should look like, honey. The candy thermometer, actually, these two actually fit in on this side. Mm -hmm. Here's the picture. Okay. So it's missing the candy thermometer. Okay, that could be. So it has two meat thermometers in here and it's missing it the can there, candy thermometer. It. Yeah. Really it, yeah. So... Mm -hmm. But the graphic on this is very, very cool. Yeah, it's missing the candy thermometer. But you could replace, you could put a candy thermometer in there of your own if you wanted to. Or it's really, you know, with so much of this stuff, the graphics. That, that's what attracted me. Uh huh, the, the box, graphics. The box. Then this is a Regent Sheffield English stainless carving set, guaranteed forever sharp, the greatest name in cutlery. Here's the box. It's kind of greased up, obviously got used, and it's got the carving set in there. I wonder if these handles are like um, Bakelite. They almost look like they could be Bakelite. I don't know. They're not bone. They're definitely a plastic. Let's see. see? Well, yeah. Let's see. Squatter, what's the problem, buddy? It could be. What's he doing? He wants it from my lap. <laughs> Here, I wanted to see what this says. Here, put these. So needy right now. Here, honey, take this from me. I want to see what this says on this. It says new Lusterex handles. These are Lustrex. L U S T R E X. Baby, take this. So get that tag. That's really I know. Cool. I saw that too, but here. This says, finest Sheffield stainless high carbon blades, full hollow ground, micro ground serrated edges, guaranteed forever sharp. Regent Sheffield Limited, New York. Just notification. It's got this I'm glad, tag Annie. in the box still, too. That's, I think that's cool. It says $12.95 is what it costs new. This says, new Lustrix handles will withstand boiling water. New sure grip design, luster sheen finish, and will not chip or crack. Dishwasher, it even says dishwasher guaranteed. When did they start using? You know, twelve ninety five was you know, <coughs> quite a bit of money back then too. <coughs> well, but this says dishwasher guaranteed. So when did they start making dishwashers? Oh, they they go all the way back to probably the sixties, I would say. The sixties and seventies, maybe even earlier. Yeah. I'd <coughs> no, my mom had it. <coughs> oh, my mom's hat house had one, and it was. Remember you know, the well, old microwaves, the big freaking. 
and her house was built in the 60s. So I assume she's replaced it, but it, it had a dishwasher when we moved in. I can remember it. Okay. Do we have any cooks here? <laughs> I, I, I had to grab these old cookbooks. There's people that, that really desire this kind of stuff. Read Bakelite in white yellows with age. So it should not be any white Bakelite. Should, yeah, they're calling it Lustrix or something like that, Mary Beth. After you look at it, it says that. So Brad also got some old, older cookbooks. This one's a Betty Crocker's picture cookbook. And it's got some pages marked in it. Let's see if there's a date in here. Oh, well, look at those graphics. Okay, let's see. And inside there's also a recipe for veal chops with mushroom sauce. Looks like Brussels sprouts on the side there. Calorie saving recipes with improved sucarol, new non caloric sweetener for reducing and diabetic diets. Sherry was telling me the uh, cookbooks that have like the dividers like this, those are real desirable for whatever reason. Well, some of the, the one that I grew up with was the um, Better Homes and Gardens one, but mm -hmm. it was the older one, my mother's older one. And they changed the, they would redo them from time to time. And when they did, the recipes also changed. And my stroganoff recipe came out of the old, old one. And, and I can kind of do that one in my head. And, and when I bought my own Better Homes and Gardens cookbook and went to use that recipe, it was different than the one from the old one. So I always resort back to the old one then this has got look at the chicken with pineapple and peas <laughs> chicken and pineapple sounds good but i'm not sure i want to add peas into that mix okay i was going to look for a copyright date on this one general mills 1950 so this one's a 1950 Betty Crocker cookbook. All kinds of stuff in here. Here's some more. 1979 Nebraska Cowbell, Co Cowbell Cook-Off Recipes. The Nebraska Cowbells, supported by Nebraska Beef Industry Foundation, <laughs> Nebraska Stock Growers, Norton Norton Laboratories, and it's got the it's got busy ranch wife's beef bake, beef and broccoli fry, broiled pepper steak, barbecue beef and noodles, ground chuck, asso, savory beef pie. Spicy pot roast, all kinds of little additions. I wanted to see what's in this page that's marked here. So this page is marked something about storing your meats. And this is Swiss steak. This one's for the Swiss steak. Anyway, if you like cookbooks, Brad got you some cookbooks too. Yeah, like this kind here. Okay, put that one away. McCall's. A McCall's. No, this is Mac the McCormick right Spices McCall, of the World right. cookbook. This is by McCormick Spices. Recipes from the simple to the exotic, tested in kitchens of McCormick. Look at the outside of this one. This is one I, I've never seen this one before. <coughs> and then the insides, yeah, they have the different. Yeah, it's got the different categories. The different categories. So, so your salads, dividers, yeah. meats, soups, casseroles, mm -hmm. vegetables, poultry, seafood. Here's one for cheese and caviar croutelettes. C R O U T E L E T T E S. Well, maybe. I, I, I would, I'm not, I don't speak French, but. Pate de foie <laughs> and aspic. Huh? Pate de foie and aspic. Hmm. Aspic, I think, is like a jello, isn't it? Like a savory I jello. I don't know. I think so. Let's see what if there's a copyright on this one. How to use spices. What's this? 
I don't know. There's what are these? Little things. I don't know what uh, so it looks like it's all about spices and herb charts. Hmm. The McCormick Spices of the World Cookbook. Um, don't see a copyright there. I don't. I don't see a copyright on this. Oh wait a minute. 1964. 64. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 1964 for the McCormick Spices of the World. Is that one? <coughs> oh, we got the McCalls. Cat sounds. What What is Cat talking about? She's talking about some a bakery somewhere. Okay. This for Spanish baked goods. They had the best drunk cake ever, and the Colombian pastries with meat in them. Yum, yum, yum. Well, we're looking forward to getting French some pastry. new cuisine. <laughs> Brad's looking forward. I mean, oh, I'll, I'll bet when we world. get there's, there, there's, there's we're no going to have some time to ourselves on Friday. We get into Paris at like 9 in the morning, their time, and somebody from the cruise company will meet us down um, after we go through customs and get our baggage. We'll meet us right there and escort us straight to the ship. I'm gonna tell and story. then we're going to have some time that afternoon to ourselves, so I know Brad's going to want to go looking for some pastries. Let me tell pastries. a story real quick. Um, I've heard this story. I know exactly what story he's about to tell in you. In a previous uh, engagement, girlfriend. <laughs> anyway. Before this one. Before this one. Oh, so I'm not the only one you've taken traveling. Oh, no. Besides no. your wife? Anyway. Even besides your wife, you've taken other women? I, I, I took a girlfriend. Um, yeah, but it's not. it wasn't this trip I'm talking about. But, yes, I took her on one trip. Anyway, uh, going back to what I was going to say. Uh, we we're in the air area of uh, France. I know we were close to Nice. Nice is gorgeous, by the way. The, the French Riviera, mm. Riviera is gorgeous. Um, anyway, I ran into a pastry shop. So I went in there and I bought 12 pastries. And they run about, oh, anywhere from about four to six euros a piece, which is, you know, four to five, I would say, actually. But euros, which equivalents to, you know, five, six bucks American. Anyway. <clears throat> So I go back to the ship. We did a Mediterranean cruise. Anyway. Was this a big ship, not a river ship? Yes, this was a big ship. This was, I believe, a Norwegian ship. But anyway, that, that's here and over there. Um, I get up to the uh, boat, and they say, well, no, no, you can't bring that on. I says, oh, uh, no, <laughs> I don't think so. So basically, I I, I, I said, you know, I, I can't. You go, no, you can't, you can't. Okay. I said, okay, let me talk to your supervisor. So I talked to the supervisor and uh, <laughs> he goes, yeah, you just can't bring on meat, poultry, uh, dairy, and all like that. I said, oh, okay. So then I go back and the other guy's there. So he goes, ah, okay. Anyway, I would have ate every one of those right in front of them. If they wouldn't have let me take those on board the ship, I would have made sure I would, or I would have, if I couldn't have ate them, I would have thrown them in, in, in the Mediterranean. So, so, so what, they couldn't get them. What's their reasoning behind that? I mean, I can understand the they want to eat them. And stuff. No. <laughs> Yeah. No, but but I mean, what would be the reason? Because I mean, did they sell their own pastries on board the ship that they felt that that would take away from their profits no, or something? No, like only that? Uh, alcohol. And like and like I described, alcohol. You can bring alcohol on, but you got to see. On, you on, have to make on them these ships of. that we go on. I mean, they they encourage us to buy this ship while they're while we're over there. They'll even take us to specific shops and stuff for these things. You know. Oh, yeah. So this McCall's cookbook was is copyrighted 1963. It does have some damage to it. Somebody's used some tape on it to keep the binding on it. But it's got a couple of interesting little, um, and it, they've marked quite a bit in here too. They've got several pages marked, but look at this one. This has got a little separate booklet inside, Fine Cocktails Made Easy. So it's got your directions for, let's see. Um, a mint julep, a whiskey sour, an old fashioned, a Manhattan, and a highball. I like a whiskey sour. An Alexander, dry martini, gin and tonic, a pink lady. What's in that? Three teaspoons of grenadine, a jigger of lemon juice, apple, an, an ounce of apple brandy. One white of an egg. Why would they put an egg white in it? And a jigger of gin. Why in the heck would you put egg white in there? I would skip that. That seems like that would make it kind of thick or something. I think I'd skip that. A Tom Collins, a Bronx cocktail. A 
a Gibson, a Gin Ricky, a Gin and Cola, Gin Daisy. I don't, I don't drink gin. I got so sick on gin one time, I've never touched it. Here's another Again. Interesting one. This one's got tabs, too. A champagne cocktail, it's cream de mint, a sidecar, a stinger, a New York cocktail, a whiskey and bitters, hot toddy, a I ladies cocktail. Know. Ladies cocktail is a dash of ang ango. A a God, how do you say that? Angostura bitters, a half a teaspoonful of Penrod. No, no, per no. I've never heard of that either. A half a teaspoon of aniseed and some rye bourbon whiskey over cracked ice. Rum punch, eggnog, hot buttered rum, milk punch, whiskey punch, gin punch, rum Manhattan, a rum old fashioned, planter's punch, a daiquiri. What do they say for their daiquiri? Shake with cracked ice, one teaspoon full of powdered sugar, juice of half a lime, two ounces light rum, and you just strain it and over chilled ice. A Tom and Jerry, a Cuba Libra, and a Rum Collins. So kind of some fun little interesting ads. Just, and look at this one. <coughs> How to throw a party without letting it throw you. A little pamphlet. Oh, look at the lady on the back. She's very happy with her balloon. How to throw a party. Oh, it, this looks almost like an, yeah, it's kind of an article out of another, out of a magazine or something. Oh, no, it is a whole little pamphlet. Have fun at your own party. How to please all the guests at your party. Interesting. There's another page. I can't get it open. Serve any cocktail your guests prefer right from the Hublin bottle. What is Hublin? Extra dry martini. It's always fun to see what, what other people were doing with their foods, isn't it? And then you've got pages marked for, let's see. Oh, there's finger foods. Chocolate banana cream puffs. Cocktail cream puffs, white bread, quick breads, refrigerator rolls. What's this one say? Quick dumplings. I'll tell you how to do quick dumplings. You can just use Bisquick. <coughs> the amazing artichoke. eclairs, ham. Oh, here's one. What's this one? Short ribs. I don't care for short ribs. Very much. I like the baby back ribs, but I don't do big short ribs. It, there is too heavy for me. And a turkey. Shows you how to make a turkey. All right. All right. Are we done with books? <laughs> that one's 1949. Oh, the bottom one's. What time is it? 6:30. So about another half hour. This one uh, is 1949. This one here, Encyclopedia Cookbook. Ooh, it's got some damage it's got too. Got damage the bindings, but look, look at, at the, the thing. bindings coming off of it. Yeah, we can put it back. But it's the Encyclopedia of Cookery. Would you say this one's 1940 something? 1949. It's got the name Florence Bergen for or Bergie. And then it's got a whole a little envelope here with a beef chart, herbs, vinegars, yes. use of something. I, oh, use of milk, maybe? Free dumping during March 1969. What is this? I don't know. Do the municipal garbage dump. More stuff about herbs. I'm going to stick that back in there. Some little note. articles and stuff. Some note. Look at this. <laughs> Let me see that. Pretty cool, actually. <clears throat> Municipal garbage dump open to city of Modesto residents only Saturdays from eight to three beginning Saturday, March 6, 1965 dump fees, car or station wagon, 50 cents 
Trailer or pickup truck, $1. Oh, here's the truck or large trailer, $4. Free dumping during March, 1965. Well, here's the original cover for this one, probably the encyclopedia. <coughs> well, here, I don't want to mess those up with this one. Right. Yeah, this one's 1949. This one's in really good shape. I just saw a graphic in here. I think they were... Where'd it go? I wanted to look at that graphic. Where's the recipe? Oh, it's corn. Everyone's favorite summer vegetable, corn on the cob. Look at the graphic. I always love these old graphics. <coughs> Cucumber. So there's something else in here I can't read. Looks like Polish cookies, crusty like hmm. something using milk to wet and fry in deep fat something sugar. I can't tell. Conger eel. Interesting. Look at these graphics. These are typically like 40s, 50s type graphics. What was this one? Look at this one. It looks like they're, oh, that's your tea set with your sugar cubes. Look at this fruit. We are so looking forward to the fruit. We get fresh fruit on these ships. Every day, every morning at the breakfast buffet, they have a plethora of fresh fruit. That looks like it's not just fruit. It's got some lettuce or something there. Halved peaches and pears are combined with strawberries, blueberries, and pineapple chunks with a few red raspberries. Wedges of cabbage. Why would you put wedges of cabbage? It says wedges of cabbage make a different accompaniment. If fresh fruits are out of season, use canned or frozen fruits to achieve the same result. Serve with French dressing or a honey cream dressing. Honey cream sounds good. I have to look that up. Okay. And there's this one. And one more one book. More. <laughs> one more book to bore you with. I know I love the fresh fruit. That's we the oldest one. That was 1948. <laughs> Our Dollar General out here um, finally has a little produce section. I was thrilled to death to see that the other day. Tuesday when I went in to get my hair done, I was looking at my Facebook post and there was a post about it. And I said something to the gal who does my hair. And she's like, oh, yes, I've been there. And it's, it's not bad either. And she told me they get their deliveries, their fresh deliveries on Mondays and Fridays or something. So I stopped before I came home after I got my roots done and I picked up a small watermelon. I picked up some corn on the cob and some um, celery and um, I cut up the melon it was very good. I've been enjoying the melon. I like to keep some cubed up fresh watermelon in my refrigerator and just, you know, grab a couple of pieces at a time. And so now I've got some pineapple in there and some watermelon right now in there that I can grab if I want. And Brad did bring home a bag of oranges from the um, grocery outlet the other day. And uh, we cut into them and they're blood oranges. They're re And they're really nice and sweet on the inside too. They were super, super good. Okay, so this one is the Culinary Arts Institute Encyclopedic Cookbook. Yeah, I don't know that any of this looks super appetizing to me. Does it look super appetizing <laughs> to you? <laughs> Looks like a lot of like dips, maybe some guacamole and I'm not sure what that is. That doesn't look very good. Right, oh, but look at this graphic. graphic yeah, yeah, look at this graphic though. This is fun with her basket of veggies. Carrie Ann says she finally got a grocery outlet near her. Sometimes grocery outlets kind of weird. We do well on the cat food there. It's it's yeah. like half the price of even Walmart for for the cat for food. these spoiled cats for the same cat <laughs> for the exact same brand. 
Um, and, and oftentimes their produce is pretty good too. Their produce isn't bad and their frozen stuff is not bad. Now I didn't care for that ice cream. It's, it's that, yeah. yeah, I don't care for those. The, the ice cream is almost more of an ice milk rather than a cream on the inside. I didn't care for those too much. So those, those are going to sit in the freezer. All right, let's see. Did you find a copyright on this one? 1948. That's the oldest one. Oh, this is the oldest one, 1948. And it's not in bad shape either. Yeah, 1948. No, that's a nice shape, that book. <clears throat> yeah, this one's not bad. I like the graphics in this one, too. Mm -hmm. And there's little envelopes in here that have, oh, here's somebody's recipe for something I can't read in somebody's personal handwriting. <laughs> what's this one what's that card there this that? one is something's some special this week only half gallons orange grape or fruit punch drink three for 79 cents do you get three half gallons of these juices for 79 cents and you save a whole whopping eight cents <laughs> a whole whopping eight cents yes Crab meat with mushrooms, crab meat in shells, and then a whole bunch of other little things in here stashed in here. Oh, I want to see what this is. Let's go somebody's picture. Retain James J. McGrath, Sheriff of San Mateo County. Primary election, June 6th. So somebody was writing their recipes on this guy's campaign um, notepads. <laughs> For James McGrath. Oh, here's the one about the dump. And there's the original cover that came on that book. It, it's in rough shape. But it, oh, the, um, they left it in there. Yeah. Dust cover. The dust cover. Yeah, yeah. the dust it's cover there, for the book. It's there, but it's in two pieces. Well, it doesn't even look like it fit it. Look at these. Look at the way they did this. What is that? wonder what kind of a cut of meat that is. Is that like a prime rib ball most maybe mm -hmm. with a lot of fat around it? But look at how they did these stuffed stuffed onions. Ick. <laughs> I would never eat those. Are you sure those are onions and not? Those are onions and they got like, this one's got peas or something and the other one's got carrots in it. Those are onions. <laughs> I would not eat those. <laughs> You love onions. I'm, you know how much I really <laughs> love onions. <laughs> that and garlic. I become hey, Lori. very, how you very doing? garlic intolerant. Hi, Lori. <clears throat> Becky says the Dollar General near her has a little grocery section of fruits and veggies. We just got them and we needed them out here so bad. Oh, maybe a Wellington. That could be cat. Um, we just, we needed it out here so bad because there's nothing out here. Our closest regular grocery store is in Fernley and it's either Rayleigh's or Walmart and it's a good 15 plus miles yeah, I'd away. Yeah, about 15, 16 miles. Um, so out here where we're at, all we have, have had is the Dollar General and the Family Dollar that are right across the street, right from, across each the street from each other. <laughs> now that little, that little friend's liquor store there in the corner where Liz used to work, right. he as a rule has kept a little bit of produce in there. If you needed some, like sometimes you could run in and find some celery or maybe some uh, tomatoes or something. But the few times I was in there, it wasn't super, super fresh. So it's nice to see some, some, um, some fresh produce coming in, produce coming into our area. Cause it's just, you know, stuff, if we go grocery shopping once a week, even, and you buy that stuff, sometimes by the time you use it, it's already getting funky. So you know, we don't want to drive 30 miles back and forth every day. Well, Brad doesn't mind. I do it anyway. <laughs> he does it anyway because he's hitting the state sales, you know. Yeah. All right. What else yes. have we got? What's this? Bookends? Yes. Oh, bookends. bookends that look like these musical note things. Brass bookends. Are they marked? They're made in China. No, Taiwan. Taiwan. <laughs> Made in Taiwan, Republic of China. So they're older. Yeah. Those are kind of nice brass. Um, like, would, would that be some kind of like a musical note thing? Yeah. Is that what it looks like to you? Uh, like almost not a heart, but uh, um, yeah, there's yeah. something like that, I a guess. Musical note. 
Kat says, we lost our grocery store about a year ago, and now we have to go about 10 miles to the nearest one. The one that closed up by her was only a block away. Oh, that sucks. Well, I knew when I moved out here that it was going to be an issue I would have to deal with, but it was just me, too, and my daughter, Ellen, at the time. And Ellen went back and forth quite a bit, so if I needed stuff, she could pick it up, but... And, you know, and then, too, after I had my stomach surgery, my bariatric surgery, I just, I, I don't cook all the time anymore. What little bit I do cook, you know, I, I just eat so, such tiny amounts. I, I, You know what I had a craving for while I was sick? I made cabbage soup. I bought a head of cabbage the other day, and I chopped it up and put it in the crock pot with some celery and some um, carrots and what else did I put in there? I didn't put any onion in it. Um, water chestnuts. And for the broth, I just used some of that better than broth stuff, just the vegetable base. And it's okay. But after I made it, now I'm done with it. And I've got this humongous pot full of this cabbage soup. And I don't want any more of it. So I get these cravings for stuff. And so I make it. And then it's like... It just sits in there. So this I know I'm going to end up throwing most of it out. This you know what I'll do with it? I'll just have Brad dump it over the fence for the critters over there. Maybe they'll eat it. Instead of wood, it's metal. <coughs> I like that. Uh, so Brad found a little gong. Look. That's a good piece. I like that. A little brass gong. Oh. You know what? <laughs> this will be something we'll sell. I've got my other one down there. Yeah. See, I don't think that other one, it's not wood, it's rubber on the mallet. This one's, yeah, yeah, this one's metal. all metal. This one's, metal. this one's all metal. It's and it's got, cool. I'm looking at the, the design on it. At first, I thought it was fish. But this looks like a bird up here. I don't know. Let me look at this side. I'm not exactly sure what kind of creatures those are supposed to be. Maybe fish and birds. Lori says it's a leer. Oh, the bookends are a leer. Bang oh, a gong, yeah, okay. get it on. <laughs> this is how I summon you at night. If I need you. Wake up, baby. He slept without me last night. It was I know. at first I was kind of like, well, hump. <laughs> and then I and then I got back in the bed. It was like, oh man, I can stretch out all over the bed. And and both the kitties came in and slept with me. And the little girl kitty, she she little mademoiselle, she um curled up over on Brad's spot right next to me. Well, she didn't curl up actually. She spread out in that spot. He wasn't there. And then I remember you came in. I don't know what time you came in and got back in bed with me. And then, but you weren't there very long before you got up and left. I don't think. He doesn't even leave me notes anymore when he leaves. Oh, God. Here we go. <laughs> and sometimes he'll wake me up and kiss me before he leaves. But most of the time, I just wake up and he's gone. So I don't when, sleep till uh, noon. <laughs> so I called him. I said, well, where are you? And he said, well, where do you think? I said, okay, well, you're either at an estate sale, a yard sale, or the corner. And he was at, he said, at the first one. So I had, I knew exactly where he was. <clears throat> I didn't know what town he was in, but he had gone clear to Reno this morning. So what time is it now? 647. Yes, we're just showing off Brad's finds. It's a bug. We're just showing off Brad's finds. And um, so that you guys have an idea of what we'll be bringing Some of the stuff when we get back from our trip. And we wanted to come and talk to everybody before we leave anyway. Because, you know, we're used to at least having a chat with you every week. This is a pretty cobalt yeah. with a um, gold trim bud vase. You know, what's interesting about this one, too. It doesn't go all the way down. See how it stops? You can see where the color changes. So the bed base actually only goes down the really? base part down to right here. Yeah, look. Yeah, I can kind you of see, see it. Now? Yeah, I, I see a line there. Yeah. Interesting, huh? It's pretty. It needs a good cleaning on the inside, um, which we have already done to an extent, no. but I'm not going to try to clean it anymore. Hardly any. Uh -uh. It's not yeah, bad. I it's just pretty. rinse it off. The dust. Uh -huh. <laughs> then we found another one of these that you could put a little book or a picture or yeah. something on, a little easel. Interesting. Yeah, was... hmm. This one looks like little, like, um, kind of like little tree branches or something. It's really cute. Gold. 
a gold tone, little like an easel. Okay. Yeah, we just thought we would come on for a few minutes and spend a little bit of time with you. We're going to get off of here in a few minutes and go freshen up, and then we're going to go down to the bar. We haven't been down to the bar for a month. <coughs> And I've got some friends that are going to be down there tonight that I want to go say hi to. And uh, I don't want to stay real long, though, because I don't want to push myself with this crap I've had. And I want to get some work done here at home tomorrow and start my packing, get my suitcases in order. I started working on a list today so there's certain, so I don't forget things that I know I'm going to want while we're gone. Is that it? Oh, I got another box out there. We don't need to show everything. We don't need to show everything. Mm -mm. Yeah. Mm -mm. Say what so, you got to say. And... We just wanted to come and share a few minutes with you guys. What is it? Should I change my shirt? No. It's just, I don't know what it is. I'm just going to put on my big sweater over this. I'm not getting all fancied up. I'm not even going to put on any other rings, I don't think, tonight. <clears throat> Maybe one on this finger or something. Whatever. And I want to get down there hopefully early enough to get my seat that I like before anybody else gets there. We will do that, Renee. We will have fun. We will have fun, and we will post and you, and, and share with you so that you guys can she kind of come sing, on our trip she says with sing us. For me. What? <laughs> Renee says sing for me. Sing for you? I don't know how much I can even sing tonight. So <laughs> I was thinking I, maybe we'll do White Rabbit because I can do that in a low tone. I can't do anything where I'm going to need to try to hit higher notes or anything. I can't get out of this rasp. Maybe I'll do come and get your love. I don't know. I could get away with that one. I don't know. I haven't sang with Glenn in a long time. <coughs> I don't know if he's still got my old playlist. <coughs> I don't know. Take a couple cough drops with me. I need to. Oh, that's something else I want to put on our list to get is some mints. Like some of those peppermint things. Those Altoid things. I've got Altoids, but I mean to take with us on our trip, I want a bag of like those peppermints, those red and white ones. Like we get it at Baldini's. Yeah, uh-huh. I want some mints. Those, that's good to suck on to, when your throat starts getting weird like this. Especially while we're flying and stuff too, because if I if we're coughing a little bit, I don't want people getting all freaked out. <coughs> <coughs> I've been reading about some of this stuff that says the cough is the longest thing that hangs on with this shit. Yeah. It's the cough. You won't, you're not contagious or anything. You've just still got this cough. I'm, I'm over it. Yeah. Oh. But Jennifer says, I bring plastic bags for the dirty clothes on the cruise. We went on long. Ago. You know, they have a laundry service and I spend the money and let them do my laundry. So I don't have to pack a whole bunch of dirty clothes, but we're doing the post cruise extension in Brittany and we will be there for like three days before we fly home. And I don't know if the hotel there will have a laundry service, but usually they, then I will have like a plastic bag that I can put um, the dirty clothes in when I pack them. Yeah, we'll take some masks. We do need some masks. You have some in the car, don't you? I think there's some in my suitcase. <coughs> we'll yeah, definitely just, take some masks. Yeah, we got to have that just in case. Kat said the internet or the wind just kicked up and knocked her off, but she's back. Huh. If I get inspired, I know I would like to sing a little bit, but I don't have a lot of voice right now. Uh, uh, All right, baby. Yeah. It's 6.52. So what do you want to tell our friends? What do I want to say? Um, we'll go, we'll try to go live a couple of times, I, you know. I hope everybody has a good time while we're gone, regardless, mm -hmm. you know. And that everybody stays safe I, and blessed and yeah. healthy. Um, and, and, and we'll see. Have a we'll good rest of the Saturday, I'll tell you, mm -hmm. and the weekend, you know, whatever you have planned. I'm just going to try to be as lazy as I can for the next few days with getting stuff done and trying to take care of myself. And we do need to make a trip to the store for some things, but we, we could do that Tuesday when we get our nails done. Call the airlines. We got to call the airline and confirm. I did sign up for that um, American Advantage. I thought I had an account, but it didn't find it. So I signed up for a new one, but it doesn't have a thing where I can show that I have an existing reservation. 
where I can add that in. So when we call them, we we I've got my number now and they may be able to like to add that in so that we get all the notifications on the flight and everything, the flights. We did get a little bit of a surprise yesterday. We do have coming back, we fly from Paris to Dallas again. And Brad had noticed, got a letter from the cruise company that we had some kind of a, a, a refund that they'd given us, but they didn't say what it was for. And so we called yesterday to find out about it. Well, it turns out because we have a five hour layover in Dallas before our flight home to Reno, that they're giving us like a $50 dinner credit so that we can have dinner at the airport while we're waiting for our flight, which will be five hours when you think about it, because once we get off the plane in Dallas, we've got to clear customs. And so we'll have to go to baggage and get our baggage then take all of that through customs and get that done. And that'll take at least an hour or so and then get to our new gate and everything. So by the time you find that area, waiting a couple extra hours, is it, it's not going to be that bad. So we'll get to have dinner, dinner in the airport because there is no food on that flight home either, unless we want to buy some. So that's probably why they want to feed us. We want to make sure. Like what? I think we told them, didn't we? Or, or we might want to mention that too. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. it's supposed to be. We're supposed yeah. to have all, all that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Which helps us too because we do the wheelchair access thing because of my knees and stuff and uh, the issues that I've had with my feet. So when we've got those um, those uh, long flights and stuff, and it's quite a ways to your gate, we do the wheelchair thing, and that way they get us right. The one, at least, I don't know how Dallas is going to be, but when we flew uh, Delta into Salt Lake City last time and the gal met us with the wheelchair in Salt Lake City, man, she got us through customs and everything so fast and to our gate. She was really good. The best service, wheelchair service that we've had so far. Some of them have been kind of questionable or we've had to wait and wait and wait. But uh, that one wasn't. That one was really, really very efficient. So. And I hit into that area too now. I liked, uh, I don't remember. <coughs> With my age, I hit more into that senior thing. You have to be over 65 to get some of these senior, when you like book reservations, they'll ask, you know, for an adult 16 to like 64 or something like that. And then, or you go into the senior thing is over 65. So you're not there yet. No, not quite. Anyway. Okay. Yeah, the airline food so far, it hasn't been that bad. But I mean, it's it's not where you're not going to eat it. I mean, you get hungry. So, but yeah, it's it's you know it is what it is. <laughs> um, kind of like going to a fast food place. It is what it is. You know, it just is what it is. If you're hungry, <laughs> you're going to eat it. But you, know? you can buy sandwiches and stuff in the airport and just take that on with you too. Because even when we leave Reno, from Reno to Dallas, there's no food service on that plane either. And it's about a two-hour flight, I think, a little over two hours. I like even. the food on the cruise, though. Oh, man. Fresh Once fruit. we get on the cruise, the food's really, really good. So mm -hmm. that'll be nice. And they talk about, in the booklet, too, She it talks about... Um, for those of us who have early flights and stuff, they by when they get pick us up at the airport and take us to the ship, our cabin may not be ready yet. And if it isn't ready, then we'll just wait in the lounge area and stuff where they'll serve us, you know, whatever we want. But actually, by the time we get there, I think as early as they get people out of there and get those cabins redone, they're, I mean, we don't even land till nine. So by the time we clear customs and get our luggage and meet the Grand Circle people down there, I mean, we could be talking at least an hour or even, you know, more. So it could be 10, 30, 11. It might be lunchtime when we get to the ship. We might get lunch. Anyway. Anyway. Okay, you guys. Yeah. I know I'm a cradle robber, Lori. <laughs> 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 he doesn't look that much younger than me. Even my daughters, when they first met him, was like, okay, who's younger? Who's the oldest one? We we look close enough. Okay, you guys, I'm going to go freshen up a little bit, and we're going to go down and hit the karaoke for a couple hours. Um, and we probably won't go live again and see you again until we're in Paris or on our way. Back. I'm going to wait till I get back. What? Well, except for one of your videos anyway. Yeah, well, yeah. you're going to be involved in that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, here's Brad. <laughs> we'll see you when we we'll see you when we get to Paris. Okay. Okay.
Good night, everybody. Good night, everyone. Be blessed. Be safe and happy trails until we see you again yeah. soon. All see right. you when we get back. All right, you guys. Good night. Have fun.